So I've been experimenting with the laser accessory for my Electraw. It's only a 1.6 watt laser, so we can't expect too much from it. Uh, it's at the moment engraving a piece of leather. I think with several passes it would cut through leather, but as it is, it's probably only going to engrave it. This is really just testing things. It will cut art foam, it'll probably cut thin veneer with several passes. So we'll see how far this goes. This is with just two passes on leather at uh, 50 millimeters per minute. The slower you get it to move, the more it burns through the material, obviously. But it is, it is limited. It's only a 1.6 watt laser. We can't expect too much. So let's have a look and see the sort of things we can do with the laser accessory on the Electraw. Okay, so this is nearly the end of the second pass at 50 millimeters per minute with laser on full power. Now, you'll have to excuse the sound of wind chimes in the background because, as you can tell, this is making a little bit of burning and that means I have to have the windows open for ventilation. So let's have a look at what we've actually ended up with with two passes on the laser at 50 millimeters per minute. It's marked it and I can feel that marking in the leather. It hasn't cut it through and I reckon that would take another three or maybe four passes before it actually cut through that leather. So it's going to be quite good for engraving leather but uh, but not so good for cutting it. In fact probably what I'd want to do here is just mark out my pieces using the laser and then cut them with a sharp knife or, so, or something like that. So what else can we do with the laser I'm thinking? It seems like it's going to be more suited for engraving wood and marking things than it will be for cutting. So let's have a go at engraving the Atomic Shrimp logo on my little wooden whistle. Bit of a risk here because I could ruin it. But let's see how far we get. Okay, here goes nothing then. We'll do this, actually let's do a preview first. That looks like it's about right. Preview outlines the area that it will engrave, which is quite useful just to ensure that there isn't a serious problem. I'm going to set this to engrave at 100 millimeters per minute to start with. We can always make two passes here. I've stuck the whistle down with some white tack and we'll see how we get on. So laser on full. Okay, so that's all done, and it appears to have worked okay. Let's just move the laser out of the way, and take a look at our handiwork. Not bad at all. Really, really nice engraving there. I'm going to smudge it probably now. A little bit of sanding, just to take the soot off, and that's actually really rather nice. So I'm going to do something similar on the back here, but with text this time. And I will t set that at... 250 millimeters per minute because I think last time it was probably a little bit just slow. So let's take a look at that. That's actually really rather good. Look at that. So for laser engraving on wood, it's actually amazing. I can see some good uses for this. So what about this? Okay, I'm going to stop that there because I can tell but that's not going to be very effective. Reason being, I think, that this toast is just a bit too white. 
and so it's too reflective and we can't my dream of laser engraving toast we'll have to wait for another day what about this after all it is the internet let's try branding this bacon No, nope, it is just not cooking the bacon. <sighs> I don't know what we're going to do. If only there was some kind of large metal thing we could heat up and cook it all at once. Oh well. So in summary, this is the 1.6 watt laser module. Good for engraving wood. Good for engraving or marking leather. Possibly okay for cutting leather if you've got the patience. Not so good for cutting plastics or actually cutting wood or anything like that, but fine for engraving. No use for engraving toast or bacon. Hmm, have to find another solution for that. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.